times 10. I didn't put that in there, but that's what it is. And all these are surface measure times 10. But if you have a big old 12 foot surface measure board and you don't yield 120 cutting units in three cuts, you can take one additional cutting, but then you have to yield surface measure times 11, which is 132 cutting units, isn't it? Yeah, that's a gob of them. You need them much measure. It has to be a legal cutting, right? And a legal cutting set be four by three or three by six. Anything like that, it's just, hey, three to seven foot surface measure, two cuts. Now, four by three and three by six, that can be a funny looking board for FAS. I always say you gotta put your walnut hat on when you're grading walnut because it doesn't look like, here you are, you've been used to grading FAS and looking for six inches wide and eight foot long in your minimum size cuttings, four by five and uh, three by seven. Pardon me, jumping the gun here. You never believe it, but I did a finish ten by the first part of the six. <laughs> Five of me. What's that? Picking on me? Uh, no, I mean. He didn't turn the recording device on. Well, I didn't turn it down. You're supposed to take care of it. You're the technical <laughs> advisor. It's got it on now. Is it on now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You didn't have that on. I got enough to deal with walnut here, let alone be. Yeah, and this could be done a lot prettier, I know, but I didn't tell you I was an artist. I'm just showing you something here. Now, what does that look like? It sure doesn't look like an FAS, does it? Okay. With a three foot surface measure, uh, extra cut, extra yield, number one common, you need 27 cutting units. Okay, you got one cutting here, five inches wide, four foot long, you get 20 cutting units in one cut. Well, that's not good enough for one common. Extra cut, extra yield, you come over here and get that and get 27 cutting units. That will make a one common whatever, <laughs> but this makes an FAS walnut. Uh, 32 cutting units. I just made that one up, but anyway. <clears throat> you see here again, that's all you need. You got a three foot surface measure, three to seven foot surface measure automatically allow two cuts to yield surface measure times 10. Does your wane limitation apply? Yes, it does. You can have wane on either edge, okay half the length, not exceeding over half the length in the aggregate. All right. So. How all the limitations apply. Hmm? All the limitations apply. All six of your defect limitations apply. And Limitations apply, and the 97% rule may apply also. But you know, you're already getting a cutting that's only three foot long. How many times do you use it any other time? 97% rule. But keep in mind, the board would still have to fit six inches and wider, six to 12 foot surf, all of that stuff would have to apply, okay? Full width and everything like that. So, as Dana said, all six defect limitations apply, your wane, your knot, your, even your warp, all that stuff applies. So, <clears throat> what's the big deal about walnut? How tough is that? Come on. All you're doing is changing minimum size cuttings, four by three, three by six, Surface measure times 10, three to seven, two cuts, eight foot and over, you get three cuts. And here again, like I said, if you get a great big honker, 12 foot and over, you get one additional cut. You have to go surface measure times 11. <clears throat> so, what's the big deal about that? That ain't so tough, huh? Other select? 
Select, okay. So, huh? Select, all you do is you use the legal size cuttings for FAS walnut. Two foot surface measure has to be 100% clear. And we don't get many of those. In some respects, yes. Really? Walnut is probably the biggest difference that we deal with. Huh. And we're talking eight foot and longer here, okay? Now, <clears throat> there is something that we want to talk about. That's FAS, keep in mind. You're taking clear face cutting from the poor side of the board, the reverse side of your clear face cutting sound as you find sound cutting. <clears throat> now, FAS one face walnut, that, can, that is a different deal. All right? If you have FAS one face walnut, there's two ways you can make an FAS one face walnut. One of them you're already familiar with, okay? You make FAS on the better face and a reverse side not below number one common, which we haven't talked about one common walnut yet. It's a little bit different, but at any rate, that one is you're familiar with. Another way that you can make an FAS one face walnut is, and this will look different to you too, <clears throat> You make FAS yield, make FAS yield on the better face and the reverse side of your cutting sound. You know, you can have what? Sound knots, you know, you can have wormholes, you can have bird pack, anything that sound. And I'll tell you what, now does that look like a funny FAS one face walnut? It does. But that's what the rule is, okay? And so you make FAS on a better face. If it was unsound, then you could make the reverse side not below number one common. The reverse side of your cuttings are not required to be sound. But if you can't make a number one common over here, if the, the cuttings, the reverse side of your cuttings are sound, you now have an FAS one face walnut. Okay? You don't even have to get the cutting. Mm -mm. And I, like I say, it makes it look so yeah. different, you know. Different. That's a good mm. I usually yeah. tell folks, I say, hey, look, the best thing to do, <clears throat> you come to a, a walnut board, you try to say, well, which side should I measure first? You know, FAS one face select, okay. Uh, measure the FAS side. See if you can make an FAS on the better face. And if you can make an FAS on the better face, just turn it over and see if the reverse side of your cuttings are sound. Just if the reverse side of your cuttings are sound, you're good to go. You got an FAS one face wallet. Now, if the reverse side of your cuttings are not sound, well then make a one common on the poor side. And the other thing that's interesting about this, either way, there is no wane limitation on that poor side of an FAS one face wallet. You could have all the wane. Now, keep in mind, I couldn't really have any wane here as long as it was outside the cutting area because in this particular example, the reverse side of my cuttings have to be sound. Kind of be odd to have wane on both sides, but I'm just making a point here. <clears throat> this uh, clear face, reverse side sound, clear face, the reverse side sound. One way that I think you can think about that you got familiar with your special yield 3A, remember that? Two-way common on the better face, reverse side of the cutting sound. Well, FAS one face walnut, kind of a similar thing. <clears throat> FAS on the better face and the reverse side of the cutting sound. Isn't that right? You doing that, are you doing that similar type thing over there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, there is, here again, uh, the wane limitation on the better face. It's something, you know, you're, you're allowed half the length on either edge. Here's a what if -er. What if the wane exceeded one-third the width? It's only five inches wide. That rule that we talk about, that one-third the width wane limitation, that only applies to the uh, FAS and one common side of 
of four and five inch wide select. Four, paragraph 69, four and five inch wide select. Even though you have a five inch wide FAS, it's kind of like, you know, we talked about the sap birch and the sap hard maple and everything. Once you have FAS yield, just half the length on, on either edge, not to exceed over half the length on either edge of the piece. And so, in the one common side of a walnut, <laughs> we have, well, I'll give you the cheat sheet, we didn't use the book, but if you looked in the book, you don't have to go there, but if you do look in the book, you'll look in FAS One Face Walnut, it won't say standard in there. It'll just give you a description about FAS One Face. You look at FAS, it'll say standard accept. Look at one common, standard accept, two ways, standard accept, okay? When you look at FAS One Face Walnut, it's not standard. If it were standard, then you'd have to apply everything like you did in paragraph 64, all right? Okay, so really and truly, gang, uh, your eight foot and longer FAS Walnut and or FAS One Face, it's not that tough, is it? No, no not really. We'll toughen it up a little bit. <laughs> we get into six and seven foot long, we can toughen it up. <clears throat> okay. Rich, I want to tell you one thing that from my experience grading claims, the biggest thing that people do wrong on eight foot and longer is they forget about one third the knot zone. They'll take their nice two cuttings, uh, plenty of yield, but the knot in the middle board will be four inch knot. Yeah. Because walnut has a lot of push it in. Another thing that, that we have issues with is the saddleback wane yeah. in the middle of the board, and they'll call it like a one column. I'm like, no, sir. That's because they don't know their wane limitation yeah. for well, FAS. And we do buy almost <laughs> all of our walnut from Amish. Yeah, and here again, like I say, all six defect limitations apply. Uh, of course, Dana will tell you too that sometimes we have a difficulty trying to determine where a knot starts and where it stops and <laughs> walnut. But at any rate, uh, okay, uh, six and seven foot FAS walnut, Josh. All you defect looker writers, you get to have a good time now. <laughs> All the other time we're looking for clear wood, now you defect looker writers, you can have a good time because that's defect grading. Now we're looking for defects, and I'll tell you what, I hate to say that, but that's what it is. All right? If you have a board uh, five inches wide through seven inches wide, you're allowed one standard defect. <clears throat> yeah, not too tough. If you have a board that's eight inches or wider, you get two standard defects. What's so tough about that? Yeah, right. <laughs> One of the things we have to know is that before you go over there and get in those defects, they give you some stuff that's free. And of course, you all know anything in the over length is free always, isn't it? Uh, it's then not a trick question. Anything in the over length is always free. So <clears throat> let's find out what they give us for free. First of all, they're going to give us some split. Split that's free. How much? Six inches. Six inches of free split. So. Okay. All right, so right there, that's supposed to be a straight board. I'm sorry, I just I have a tendency I have to use my chalk, okay? I'm just doing it. All right, I have six inches of free split here. 
As far as you're concerned, there's no defect on this board. It's free. That split is free. It's like the board is clear. All right. If you had any overlay, any split that would be in the overlay is free too. You know that, and I'm not going to draw it for you. You already know that. We've been going th all through that. All right, so six inches of free split. They also give you some free wane. All right, free wane. Free wane. Free wane can not go over three quarters of an inch wide. Three quarters of an inch wide, two times the length, and half the thickness. This half the thickness thing is kind of like a qualifier. Let me show you. Uh, three quarters of an inch wide on the edge of the board. You'll, you'll notice I say edge. We're going to find another time when it's going to be important whether we're talking about the edge of the board or the end of the board. When it's on the edge of the board, it cannot go over three quarters of an inch wide, two times the length in inches. So I'll tell you what, I'll put something here. Two times the length in inches is 12 inches on a board that's six foot long. Okay? None of this wane goes over three quarters of an inch wide. And now, any other time you're not concerned about looking at the edge of the board, now you have to look at the edge of the board. To six inches of free split. Now I put that all in one little deal here just to make it simple. <coughs> if I had split on either end of the board in the standard length, I would just add up however much split I have Put it all into six inches of free split, and you don't even have a defect on the board. If I have any wane, I gather up all the wane that does not go over half the thickness, does not go over three quarters of an inch wide, two times the length in inches on a six foot board, that's 12 inches, seven foot board would be 14 inches in length. I don't have a defect on a board of grades FAS. Yeah, that's why I say you put your walnut hat on, because when you're grading walnut, it's different. It's different, okay? Well, now we got all the free stuff. Let's find out. That's, by the, that's the end of the free. <laughs> no more free. That's it. Seems like quite a bit already, but, you know. All right, standard defect. Standard defect. What's a standard defect? Well, you suppose you'll probably have some knots. What do you suppose, huh? <clears throat> knot for one standard defect. You can have one knot that does not exceed one and one quarter inch average diameter. One knot does not exceed one and one quarter inch average diameter or you can have two together not to exceed one and one quarter inch average diameter. Okay? Either way. So let's put a defect on here. I got a knot here and a knot here. If I put those two knots together and they do not exceed one and one quarter inch average diameter together, I got one standard defect. This board grades FAS. Hey, he's in with the rules committee and he can tell you for the last 12 years or whatever, they've been having discussions about that. Generally speaking, most all these rules, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm sure you will, but you, will, you don't have to. They try to make the rules consistent with what the timber supply is. And a lot of years ago, they started out with the walnut being that certain grade. Fact of the matter is, if you were to look at the old rule books, the regular standard NHLA rules used to be so many knots and such a size board and such a length.